Welcome! Let's read an old newspaper together. Today's issue is Monday, June 2nd, 1879, from the Morning Oregonian from Portland, Oregon. The Northwest, the Willamette Valley. Staten will celebrate the 4th of July. Strawberries have appeared in the Salem market. The Chinese population of Salem has increased 100 during the past month. The commencement exercises of the McMinnville College begin today and will close on Wednesday. There are in Sheridan one livery stable, two hotels, one law and collecting office, four dry goods stores, one meat market, and another just about ready to start, two boot and shoe shops, one harness shop, one drug store, one wagon shop, two blacksmith shops, one photography gallery, one Grange Hall, Freemasons Hall and Lodge, two churches, and two preachers, three men engaged in selling agricultural instruments, one academy, a splendid building with about 50 scholars in attendance, and two doctors. New today, to let, a house of nine rooms with all modern improvements on Main Street between 11th and 12th. For particulars, apply at number 36, Lincoln and First, South Portland. Lost, a silver-mounted Meersham pipe on Sunday afternoon, somewhere on 5th Street between corner of Salmon and Robinson's Hill. The finder will be liberally rewarded on leaving the same at this office. Portland City News should be stopped. If any one of the abuses of city ordinances more than another needs correcting at this season of the year, it is the daily, yes, hourly violation of the law against fast driving. Reckless driving is seldom indulged in, but systematic fast driving is carried on too exclusively all over the city and particularly on front, first, and fourth streets. This disregard of the lives and limbs of pedestrians is practiced equally by drivers of private carriages, hacks, hotel coaches, and even by equestrians. Fast driving is dangerous enough on unfrequented streets, but between blocks on crowded thoroughfares, but when horses are driven past, cross streets, and in turning corners faster than a slow trot, the act becomes criminally reckless. The pleasant weather for the past few days has attracted numbers of ladies to the streets who were housed up during last month and the sidewalks along 1st Street from Yamhill to Pine have been crowded. Children and ladies pushing baby carriages cannot be expected when crossing the streets to watch for teams in front, back, and both sides of them, and drivers have no right to jeopardize their lives and persons. Racing within the corporation limits, such as was carried on yesterday in various parts of the city, is uncalled for. Let it be similarly stopped. Serious Runaway Saturday afternoon, a lad, whose name we have not been able to ascertain, employed by some of the butcher shops of this city to deliver meat on horseback, met with a very serious accident. The lad had delivered meat at a house up on 4th Street, and coming out on the sidewalk where his horse was standing, mounted the animal. He mounted from the wrong side, the animal being spirited and fractious, dashed off at a high rate of speed which nearly unseated the rider. The lurch which the lad received caused a piece of paper that was in the basket to drop out. This frightened the horse and made it move more rapidly. The basket next dropped from the boy's hands and only caused the animal to increase the speed. The horse soon became uncontrollable and tore down 4th Street at top of its speed. Before running far, the saddle turned and slipped under the horse's belly. The lad was thrown to the ground, and one foot hanging in the stirrup. He was dragged some distance, sustaining what are regarded as very dangerous injuries. Under the circumstances, 
it is remarkable that the boy was not killed outright. Perfection's Vegetable Hair Restorer This vegetable preparation is free from any mineral or vegetable poison. It restores gray hair to its natural color and beauty and stops its falling out. It cures baldness, dandruff, and diseases of the scalp. Sold by all druggists. Foolhardy Shooting Edgar and Walter Murphy, who are known as the crack shots of the celebrated Long Branch Gun Club, these young gentlemen amused themselves a few days ago to the alarm and terror of all their friends by shooting apples from off one another's heads at 15 yards from Ballard rifles carrying 22 100 caliber balls. The dangerous amusement was begun by their shooting apples held in their outstretched hands. They then agreed to fire at apples placed on their heads. After measuring the distance, the young men removed their hats, placed the apples on their bare heads, and took turns at the mark, boring the apples with the bullets every time. The final shots were fired at the word, that is, each brother placed an apple on his head and holding a loaded rifle called one, two, three, fire. At the last word, both fired. Both apples were hit and rolled off. The young marksman said to the Sun reporter, why it's perfectly simple and safe. We draw the bead on the top of the stem of the apple and of course we hit it. Cascades Mountain Ice. The ice was cut last winter out of my artificial lake near Castle Rock, Washington Territory of pure, sweet, and healthy mountain spring water, two cents per pound. Butler's Law Practice. Ben Butler was called on by a person who wanted to have a talk with him. Mr. Butler, said he, one of my neighbor's cows jumped my garden gate last night and completely destroyed my flower beds. The gate was of the height required by law and was closed. Now I wish to know whether I can obtain damages. Most assuredly, replied the lawyer. Well, Mr. Butler, how much? Oh, about ten dollars. But Mr. Butler, triumphantly, the man said, the cow was yours. Ah, said Butler flatfully. Then he turned to his desk, scratched off a few lines on a piece of paper, and handed it to his visitor. It was in the form of an account and read as follows. B.F. Butler to Mr. Blank. Two damages caused by cow $10. By legal advice $15. Balance due me five dollars. Mr. Blank, said Mr. Butler softly, you needn't hurry about the payment. <laughs> 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 <laughs>